Hey guys, this is Rich. I just wanted to show y'all uh, a quick setup on the um, Go 9 or Go 7 uh, Simrad along with the um, Lowrance Simrad um, hydraulic outboard motor pack. Okay, I guess the first thing to do is go ahead and get your equipment mounted. There's plenty of videos for that. And the one thing I would pay a little bit of attention to is if you look at your mag compass setting and you look at the antenna you have and it's got the little point on the front up here it's supposed to be facing the bow of the boat well it doesn't exactly line up right so what i did was i went ahead and made it match my i went ahead and powered it up after i got all the connections done and then i adjusted this until it matched my mag compass and that way it just don't look so peculiar but anyway that's just my personal preferences okay so all you're gonna do is get everything hooked up and go ahead and go to your home screen then come up here and hit setup and what all we're going to do is going to come down here to network and then we're going to go to sources and first thing we're going to check is make sure you, your compass is set to 0.1 ap and that's good just make sure that's checked then we want to go to, let's see, let's just scroll up here, uh, rudder feedback, right there. And we just want the uh, virtual rudder feedback selected. And from there, we just got to make sure that it's seeing the autopilot. And that's the NAC 1, and that's selected. Okay, and after that, that should be about it as far as selection goes. Just go ahead and back out of that and then you're going to have to commission it well, if i can get it to come up well I'm get rid of that i'm sorry it's it's probably me fat fingering something anyway going back into setup again okay there it is autopilot and then just hit commissioning and vrf calibration and use wheel to center rudder and we see it eh, it's pretty centered it ain't yeah that's pretty good and once you do that we all just hit next and it says turning and it didn't do anything so it said an outboard motor turned to the starboard no it did not okay it says turning okay and it turned but it turned to the port. It says, outboard motor turning to the starboard. No, it did not. It turned to the port. So we're going to tell it no. Turning again. Okay, that time it went starboard. Did it turn to the starboard? Yes. Okay, then it just goes, uh, use the wheel to turn rudder max starboard. So we're going to turn it max starboard. Now this one right here, for whatever reason though, if my motor is all the way over hard, it doesn't work right. It won't pull it. So I back it off about a, you know, about an eighth of a quarter of a turn, something like that. And then it seems to work okay. Okay, so we just backed it off a little bit from hard over uh, starboard, and it says hit next. It says uh, press and hold key and release at max port. So you got the little. All you're gonna do is press that. And whenever it goes max port, we're gonna release it. I'm gonna do it right before it gets there. Okay, I fat fingered it. We'll start over one more time. It says calibration complete. No, calibration's not complete because I just screwed it up because I fat fingered it. <laughs> Center of the rudder. Okay, centering the rudder. Okay, she's now centered again. It's going to do the same thing again. Okay, hit next. Turning. And once again, it does not turn. Did it go to the starboard? No, it did not go to the starboard. So we hit no. It says turning. Okay, just went port that time. Did it go to the starboard? No. Okay, turning. Okay, it just went. It went starboard that time. So... I'm going to tell it yes. Max starboard. Turn her all the way starboard. Then we're going to back off a little bit because mine don't like to go for whatever reason. And we'll hit next. Then we'll hold down the 
this key that says turn to port until it goes all the way over to port. Just shy of port's what I like because I don't like it binding up. And then she starts going over. I'm saying just about when she gets there, well. And she goes and recenters. If it goes all the way hard over, I don't like coming back. That's why I don't want to take it all the way hard over either. And it'll just about center properly. Okay. And that's it. It says calibration complete. And my guess is you probably got a few more uh, IQ points than I do. So you'll probably be able to do that without fat fingering everything and making it work right. Now, something I will say is at low speeds, the autopilot seems to work okay but when you have it up on plane it is almost useless and we had bought this thing for long trips uh, you know two three maybe even four hour trips and i am not happy with it whenever you use this guy right here the button it um it's pretty much just a uh, heading holds all it is it's not for navigation but the uh, autopilot, anyway, it's easy to use, but only for low speeds. I put it on high speed, and if you really need a break for about 15 minutes or so, yeah, you can do it, and this thing's going to take you all over the place. At least on my boat, it does. And I've taken it down as low as I can on the, uh, on the sensitivity of it. Because you can, um, let's see, let's take the chart.